Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be kind of a longer video. Um, I am giving you guys an intro video. I'm so excited um, to be doing this project. I did this project, I think two years ago. Um, it is in collab with the Fantastic Ladies and it is called Throwback 30. So this project, um, you, they ha picked 30 different projects that um, are in the group that, um, people have done. Yes. Um, so we just pick one product from each project to pan. So, um, let's go ahead and get into it because this video is going to be super long. So I'm going to try to speed through this. Um, I'm looking over here. I have all of my notes right here on the projects and stuff. Um, so the first one, first project is 12 Days of Christmas, um, and I picked Seven Swans Swimming, and that goes with my, that goes with my uh, Tarte Hydro Sealer C Concealer, because C and Swimming um, go together. I have it in 20B Light Beige. Um, I think this might be too dark for me. So this is just going to be something that I can spot can see with this. Um, in any products that I am doing, I'm going to use 30 times because it is a throwback 30 project. Um, so I'm going to use 30 times and then I can roll it out of the project. Um, also, this project started July 28th. Um, that was just a couple of days ago, so hopefully I can get this video up quick. Um, and then it's a whole year-long project, so it's going to end next July 28th of 2022. So 30 times in one year, I think I can do that. Um, so the next project is Fifty Shades of Panning. This is like the Fifty Shades of Grey movie, so um, some of those are like naughty sayings you have to correlate with. Um, and I chose something from Naked Cosmetics. Um, it is a just a single in Naturally Nude. So it's a single eyeshadow. Um, it's a loose eyeshadow. So we are going to use this up. We're going to use this 30 times and then roll it out of the project. All right. Keeping on moving. Um, 50 Shades of Pink. Uh, I think that was last year's color was pink. Um, I chose my, I have all my products just everywhere. So it takes me a minute to find them. I should have like organized better. Um, my Laneige or Laneige, however you say it, it's just a little mini, uh, lip sleeping mask in the berry. So I, as you can see, I have not even touched it. This actually came in my birthday gift from, um, I think Sephora this year. So I want to use this completely up. I don't use, want to use this three times, 30 times. Um, I want to use this completely up. Next, um, is seven deadly pans and that you, there's seven, uh, deadly sins. I think there is. Um, so I chose envy and envy is green. So I chose this Purely Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Priming Moisturizer. So we are going to use this 30 times um, and get that used up. Uh, next is the Around the World Project. So this I think you chose um, like your, um, where you live, which we live in, I live in the USA. So I chose this Murad Essential C Day Moisturizer because it says it is made in the USA. So I am going to use this 30 times. Um, I do like this. So this is going to go in my, um, I love this. I, and it has SPF 30 in it. So it's just a moisturizer with SPF. So you don't have to put um, both on. And it looks like I'm halfway done with it. So maybe the 30 uses, I can get this completely used up. Um, so going to use that 30 times. 
Next is Beauty A to Z. I am actually doing the Beauty A to Z project pan this year, but I'm just never got around to put my intro up. Um, so I picked a product from that project that I'm currently working. So you guys can see my product. Progress. Project, product, and progress. Like, the e, e, yeah. Can't ever say those words right. Um, I chose for the letter O is my Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Foundation. Um, this packaging, pack, packaging flaw on this part. Um, so I actually have to completely twist this off to get my product out because the pump actually broke on this. So yeah, not a fan of that. Um, I'm actually not a fan of this product as well. It makes my face look so cakey. So I am very sporadic when I use this. Um, but when I use this 30 times, hopefully I can get some 30, good 30 uses out of this. So um, hopefully by that time, it'll be done. Or I can just toss it, whatever. I don't know. Uh, next is Burstone Beauty. Um, and my Burstone is actually Emerald. I was born in May. So, or yeah, Burstone is Emerald, born in May. So I chose a shade out of my um, Revolutions Mermaid palette, which you can't tell anything um, unless you read the back. Um, this is my oldest palette that I actually own. Um, and I chose shade number 14, which is um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is going to be this shade right here. So I want to use this 30 times. Um, that's closest to emerald that I could get. Um, you see that there's no shadows on either side of these. I'm slowly uh, depotting this into my magnetic palette. So once I use one of these shades up, I'm going to start taking the other, other ones out um, because I really, really want to get this palette used up because it is my oldest one and um, it's, uh, it's not the best formula per se. So I want to get this used up. Uh, next up is Budget Beauty. So this one, uh, you actually chose um, budget-friendly products. And I chose something from Maybelline and my Lifter Gloss in Silk. I love this gloss. It's so, so pretty. So we are going to use this 30 times and see how far we get there. Next up is Cupid's Bow. Cupid's Bow is a um, Valentine's Day theme project. Um, and I chose something from Victoria's Secret. Um, I got these thinking it was like body spray, but it's actually like a gel consistency. So I haven't actually used it um, because I don't really know how to use it. I guess I can just go like this and rub it. Uh, but I wanna use this 30 times. So hopefully buy the 30 times, either 30 times or use this up. Um, I don't know. I don't think I wanna get 30 uses out of this. I don't know, we'll see. So, going to try to use that up. Uh, next project is Drop 10 Before Summer. This is a summer themed project. Um, and I chose this fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works. It's the Tahiti Pink Lily and Bamboo Fragrance Mist. I might actually mark this um, so we can show prog progress. I might, I'll probably mark most of the things that I can so we can see progress. So again, I want to use this 30 times and then it can get rolled out. Um, next up is a fall for you. Uh, this is a fall themed uh, project and um, not a fall themed project. This is a project product. Oh my gosh. This is a project that you pick products that you love. So I chose, where is it? My Benefit Roller Lash. I love this. I haven't used this probably in over a year because I've been working on other mascaras, but I just, I just had to put this in this project. So I know I'm going to, um, get this done within a year because, uh, that would be gross if I leave it in the project for every year. So at the end of the project, that will be done. Um, next is food for thought. This is, um, any 
product that had a food name or food on the packaging um, or food in the um, like ingredients. So I chose this hand cream from April Bath and Showers. Um, it's a vanilla and cinnamon hand cream. I actually would like to use this up. So um, this I want to get used up. Uh, next is the Harry Potter project pan, which I, we are actually, I'm actually binge watching all the Harry Potters for the very first time. Um, I have one more movie and then I'm done binge watching all of them. But, um, I chose the, um, Blood, Bloodger, Bloodger, I, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And I don't think I've heard that in the movies before but whatever it was a product that had black on the packaging um and i chose this dr brandt needles no more uh no more baggage this is an eye depuffing gel i think i've only used this like a couple times so i need to use this so 30 times and that will be rolled out of the project um, next is in the panning zone. This is like the twilight zone. Um, I chose for the, the 16 millimeter shrine. Um, that's a sample project. Um, I actually chose this pharmacy green clean. I've never tried this. I did buy the, um, apple scent. I did buy the apple scented one. So, um, I want to try this out. Hasn't been used. Um, this I actually want to use up since this is a sample project or sample product. So this needs to get used up. Uh, next is lip service. And I chose a lip liner because I am bad at using lip liners. I don't really use lip liners much. And this is the Milani lip liner in all natural. So it's a brown, brown here. I'm probably going to mark this on a piece of paper on how, um, how this is so want to use that 30 times uh next is the mean girls quotes um and of course on Wednesdays we wear pink is mine um so I chose this Garnier Garnier skin active soothing facial mist um if you can tell I've had it in a project before so we are going to use this 30 times and see how far we get uh next is movie madness so you chose products that correlates with a movie and of course um i chose the two-faced hangover rx three and one because of the movie hangover um so this i want to use this 30 times this was my favorite setting spray until i found my morphe um continuous setting mist um, so I want to say this is like almost halfway done. So maybe the 30 uses, we might get that done. Um, next is the Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, and I chose a Halloween themed product. Um, and I actually chose this palette from ColourPop. It's my Hocus Pocus Gather Round Sisters palette. So, um... In all, I don't want to use like one specific shade, um, just the palette in, in total, I want to use 30 times. Um, and then next is uh, Once Upon a Pan. So I think this was the uh, from the Once Upon a Time uh, show that was on TV. I don't know. Uh, I chose a product from the character Snow White, Mary Margaret. Um, and that is a white or blood red product. And I chose this, you guys, I chose this red lipstick. I am not the best at wearing red. So we will see. Um, it is the Haas Laboratories um, Lip Gloss in Le Riots. If you guys can see that. It's a bright freaking red. That's a bright red. We're going to try to use that 30 times. And next up is the panning games. So um, with this, you were supposed to, the project, you were supposed to put 50 items in a box and you're supposed to pick 24 items out. But I am not doing that because we're only doing one product. So what I decided to do is I 
grabbed my sample box of um, stuff that I have. There's way more than 24 products in here. Um, so we're just going to choose one and how this is, I might do this. Um, if I use the first product up, um, if I use the first product up really quickly, um, I can, I'll choose another product from this just to get my samples used up. Okay. So let's go ahead and just choose one thing out of here. And here we go. Of course, <laughs> we already have a hand cream in here, but why not choose another one? So this is the EOS Shea Shea Better Hand Cream in Pink Citrus. Oh my gosh. That's actually, ooh, this smells good. Okay, so I will have to add this to my sheet here. Oh, and I'm knocking things over. Um, next is Panning Solitaire. And this was the um, Pan That Palette, kind of Pan That Palette for uh, last year. Um, you're supposed to start with a single and then once you use your single up, you go to the duo and so on and so forth. So for my single, I chose this ColourPop um, in Disney collab. It's the Hi-Ho uh, Super Shock Shadow. So if I get this done, this is where we're starting. I've used this a couple times. Um, if I get this done, then I'll work a, pick a duo. So we are starting with that one. Uh, next one is rocking around the Christmas tree. Um, it was 12 different, um, you're supposed to choose 12 different songs that related to Christmas. Um, I chose the song rocking around the Christmas tree and it comes from my conspiracy palette from, um, the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star collab. Um, I know this is a controversial brand, but this is the shade that I'm going to be working on. It's called Illuminati. Um, it's a dark, dark green color. So we are going to use that 30 times. Um, next, we're almost there guys. Next is Say Goodnight to Project Panning. Um, and this, I chose a cuddly koala, um, for cute packaging and I chose my Rachel Zoe in Lil Rock. Um, it's face and body diamond dust. Isn't, I bought this specifically for the packaging. Um, but look at this, look how huge this, this is. So I want to use this 30 times. I'm going to use that 30 times. Next is the Significant Other Project Pan. Um, my husband wasn't actually home to pick the product, so I had my daughter pick it. And she chose this um, blush from the ColourPop and Lizzie McGuire collab. Um, and it's the You Are Magnific Magnifico, Magnifico, Magnifico uh, blush. And I'm very scared because there, in that there is a lighter blush and a very bright, bright pink blush. And I'm so scared which one she picked. So let's see. Oh gosh. She picked the really bright one. Oh. So we have to use this 30 times. Hopefully I can go light handed and it won't be as, as pink. Yeah. So we get to use that 30 times and that I actually have to add to my spreadsheet as well. Or no, I don't. Um, the next one is skin is in. So this was actually a skincare project. Um, and I chose, excuse my kids screaming in the background. They're being very rude. The first a beauty gentle foaming face cleanser. So this cleanser I'm going to use 30 times. This is actually going to go in my shower now so I can start using this. Um, I am working on, um, my purity made simple cleanser. I think that's what that's called. Um, it's a sample that I got for my birthday gift, I think from, um, Ulta this year. So I'll switch to that one. Um, next is the four seasons. This you have to, uh, correlate with any of the seasons. Um, something that has to do with nature. And I chose the body shop uh, this is actually in my Izzy Project Pan as well. The Body Shop British Rose Body Yogurt for the Rose. Um, we're going to use this 30 times. I actually think that if I use this 30 times, it's going to get used up. It's like right here. Next is 
for the Turn and Burn project. Um, this is just a product that's easily to get used out. And of course I picked a sheet mask. Um, I'm trying to use all my sheet masks up because I am going to not be purchasing them anymore and just using like regular like clay masks and stuff like that, stuff that you can put on your face um, and just wash off. So I picked the Pixie Vitamin C Energizing Infusion Sheet Mask. So hopefully by the next update, this will already be done. Just turn and burn, duh. Uh, next is Unicorn Project Pan. Uh, and I chose, this is something that could have a unicorn on it, um, glittery product, something like that. And I chose my Pure Barbie Lipstick in Legendary. I love this packaging. So cute. Um, I picked this product because it is, I have had it for a while and I recently realized I think my daughter got into it and messed it up. Like there's like stuff everywhere and I rolled it up and it, it's actually broken so I can't all, roll it up all the way so I want to use this as much as I can just to get use out of it and then I probably will just keep the packaging because the packaging is so cute um so there's that one two more next is Winnie the Pan for like a Winnie the Pooh prod prod project um and I chose something that has to do with honey and of course I chose Burt's Bees. I don't really like honey in any of my like products that I put on my face or my lips or anything. Uh, this is the Truly Glowing Gel Cream. So I actually want to use this up since this is a sample, kind of like a sample product. Um, and then the last one is Wizard of Panning. And I chose this Lolli Lollipop, what? yeah, Wizard of Panning Lollipop guild for the lollipop kids um and i chose this glossy pop watermelon um pop thing here um i want to use this 30 times so that could be either the chapstick or the gloss which the gloss there's probably not much in here so yeah there we go and that is going to do it for this project sorry guys it's a very long video um i hope you guys like this video if you do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next video.